O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Good evening! It's the time of the week with your favorite DJ, the prettiest, most sexy, and best DJ, DJ Ellie! I hope your hearts are in a good shape and healthy, especially during this special day. Happy Valentine's Day to all! Sit back, relax, and feel great because you are now tuned into Dear Radio. 101.5, your number one love radio. Bringing the best music and best love stories from our senders here at Dear Radio. Without further ado, let's begin with our first sender from Cavite who sent this letter via private message on our Facebook page. This is the story of a man named Leo, not his real name, telling us his story with his long-term girlfriend. Hello, DJ Ellie. I've been listening to you for a long time, and it's been years since I wrote something like this. This may sound cheesy or what, but I'm a very affectionate person, and she's well aware of that fact. That sums up why I am writing here. This story is about how I met my girlfriend and how I asked her out for the first time. I didn't know that I am able to be with someone so special, to the point that there are times that I feel she's too good for someone like me. Our story started back when we were in senior year of high school. I fell in love with her beauty inside and out, and she's the one the one who saw me flourish in my own little world. Good morning, grade 11 Humes. I am Miss Maxine Tolentino. I will be your advisor and your creative writing teacher. I already introduced myself, and now it's your time to shine. Hi everyone, my name is Danica L. Ong, but you can call me Danny. I am 17 years old. My favorite hobbies are reading, dancing, and singing. I am also part of the journalism club of our school. My dream job is to become a radio broadcaster. Hi, my name is Sophia Castillo, and I am 16 years old. My favorite hobby is eating, and my favorite food is everything. <laughs> <laughs> My dream job is to be a lawyer. Hi, my name is Shania Villanueva. I am 17 years old. My favorite hobby is singing, dancing, but most of the time, my hobby is to like someone that doesn't like me back. Oh. <laughs> my dream job is to be a flight attendant. My name is Adrian Lorenzo. 18 years old, my hobby is to play video games, and my dream job is to be a policeman. My name is Clay Villanueva, 18 years old. My hobbies are playing basketball, writing, singing, dancing, and actually I'm good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> My dream job is to be a lawyer. Hey Danny, look at that guy. He's cute and I heard a lot of rumors about him, saying that he's an ideal boyfriend. Yay! I kind of like him. He's cute, but I think he's too proud which makes him arrogant. Yeah, right. That arrogant person only likes to talk about himself, even at home. I don't care. I still like him. By the way, are you his sister? Yes, but it sucks being his sister. I wonder why. Do you want to have lunch with us, Naya? Oh, please. Just call me Naya. And yes, let's have lunch together. Okay class, nice meeting you all and please wait for your next teacher. What do you like to eat? I want to eat, uh, wait. I think I left my coin purse at my seat. I'll just go get it. You guys should order first. Wait, why is it locked? Wait, who's there? I left something there at my seat. May I come in? Um, sure. Yes, it's here. What? What are you looking at? Nothing. Thanks. Hey guys, gladly my first was there and no one took it. Good, you should go and order your food. 
Yeah, wait for me. I bought some meal so that my belly would be satisfied. Hmm, I want fries with beef steak, veggies, and then either macaroni, salad, or buku five for dessert. Danny girl, please manage your food intake. Your crush will not like you back if you're fat. Look at me, I'm on a strict diet. Hey, let Danny choose anything she wants for lunch. After all, food is life, right Danny? Yes, I'm quite hungry because I skipped breakfast. Okay, fine. I'll buy us some milkshakes. No, Naya. It's fine. Milkshakes on me before my allowance runs out. Just kidding. Thank you, Danny. Fine. Thank you, Danny. I deserve this treat. Can I have two chocolate milkshakes, please? No, Ted, ma'am. Please wait for a while. Here you go, ma'am. Thank you for ordering and have a great day. Thank you. Okay, guys, grab your drinks and let's start eating. Hey, I want to tell you something about earlier. I saw Clay. Hey, watch where you're going. Oops, sorry. Next time, try to shut your mouth. Next time, try to shut your mouth. Enjoy your favorites every day, from pizzas, pastas, to sides and drinks, from as low as 14 ringgit per person. Available for dine-in only. Whoa, that was tiring. Did you guys bring your extra shirt? We're all sweaty. Yikes. Yup. Yo, Danny girl, can I have some of your powder? Sure. Let me get it. Oh my gosh. Where's my purse? Sophia, wait for me. I left my hygiene kit at the bench. Okay, we'll meet you at the restroom. Where is it? I'm sure I left my purse around here somewhere. You, Danny, you good? Are you trying to find something? Oh, hi, yes. I left my purse somewhere here. Did you see it by any chance? Oh, can you clean this part? Try asking if you saw your bag. Him? Okay, where's Cleo? They have a soccer match. He's probably preparing for it. Try looking for him in the shower room next to the field. Okay, thank you. Hello, Cleo. Where are you? Hey, Cleo. Where are you? I guess it's not him. Hey, let me go. Oh, I said let me go! Shh, stay quiet. They might hear you. What are you doing here anyway? I was looking for you. Why? Where's my purse? Huh? What are you talking about? My purse with the piggy design. Jessica said you might have it. Oh, piggy? Yes, I have it. It's in my bag in case someone comes looking for it. Yes, thank God you have it. Sorry about last time. Huh? Oh... I heard you trying to talk about what you saw in the classroom with my sister and I just don't want her to use that against me. I'm sorry, I bumped onto you. Let me make it up to you. I'll buy you a milkshake. Sure. I won't tell you a thing about your affair with Adrian. No, you're wrong. There's nothing going on between the two of us. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I was asleep. What the? What are you doing, the both of you? Get a room. Is someone else there? Nope, just me. Give me my purse already. Wait, here you go. Thanks, bye. Wait, you forgot your- Whoa, that was intense. I didn't know he was that handsome. Hey guys, wait up! Hey, did you find it? Where did you find it? Oh, right. Clay, you found it. Oh, he did? Yeah, let's go and change. Hey, Danny, wait, you forgot your phone. Thank you, Cleo. Thank you, Cleo. Mama. Ew. <laughs> Very funny. What? Oops, sorry, my bad. Come on, guys. Stop listening to him. Weirdo. Nye, nye. Hey Danny, do you like Cleo? Huh? Well, I don't think so. You know that I like him, right? Yes, I help you get his number. Thank
Thank you. I love you so much. Wait, I have to go to the restroom. Okay, I will for you at the library. All right, I should start finding some books. Hmm, where is it? Where are you? Creative writing book? Hmm, where is that book? Hey, beautiful. Huh? Why are you here? Is this what you're looking for? Yes, give it to me. Is that how you should ask someone for something? Huh? What do you want? Give it to me. Well, I'm using it, so find another one. But that's the only one. Um, nope. Not my problem anymore. Oh, come on. Let me borrow it. I'll let you have this if you say please, but in your cutest tone. Nice. Fine, fine. Let me borrow the book, please. Oh, so close, but nah. I don't think you're giving your best. Come on, man. Let me borrow it. Just this once. Hey, stop. Jump. Can you stand up already? I told you to give it to me, but you didn't. Now look at this me. Danny? Oh, Sophia, um, I was just looking for something. Wait, is that what you think it? Shh, the three of you, get out! Hey, Sophia, wait up! Hey, where are you going? Help me with this. I explained it to her. What are you going to tell her? Why would you bother to explain? She's my friend, and she likes you. You know that? We didn't do anything wrong. We're not even in any kind of relationship. Except the fact that you're my classmate. Oh, okay. Well, just to inform you, I don't care. It was all a misunderstanding. She thought Cleo and I are dating. Aren't you guys dating? Of course not. I like him, but I don't think he likes me too. And I actually feel guilty for liking him because my friend likes him too. Maybe he's in denial. He was like that ever since we were kids. He stopped showing love and affection for the people around him because our parents failed to give us the love and attention they needed. I think he felt like he was in love at some moment. That's why he denies his feeling for you. Uh, even so, I don't think we'll work out because Sophia likes him. Besides, everyone thinks that I stole Cleo from her. I'll just prove them right if I confess. Let Sophia be. Everyone in the campus knows that she's the one who spread the rumors about you. It's not your fault for liking someone and for him to like you back. You know that I love Sophia. She's my friend. Hey ladies, ready to plant a tree? Ew, don't touch me, AIDS. Ew, don't touch me, AIDS. By the way, where is Jericho and Cleo? I don't know. Maybe they're fixing their tents. Hey guys, I think we should start pl planting trees. If we want to be done before sundown. Let's go there, Aids. Hey Jericho, let's go together in that area. Oh, okay, but, but wait first. I'll go with you. No, it's okay. Let's go there, Danny. I said I'll go with her. Stop touching her. Whoa, chill man. I was trying to lead her to the area. It's okay, she doesn't need you. I'll go with her. No, I don't need either of you, so I'll go along in that area. Hey, Danny, let me go with you, please. No, Cleo, just please stop. Go away. I said go away. Oh, Jericho. Hey, Danny, sorry, but can I go with you? Sure, come along. What happened to you and Cleo? I don't know. The story is too long. I knew I liked her from the time I got jealous. I tried avoiding them but it was pissed off by the thought that they are alone together in the woods. In denial as usual, denying to myself that I was falling for this woman. Hey Jericho, where's Danny? I don't know. I went to the bathroom to take peace and when I come back with she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? Where is she? Hey, Sophia. Did you saw Danny? I didn't see her and I don't care. Sophia, look, your crush is coming. Come on, Sophia, I know you saw her. Where is she? 
I dare her to cross the borders. Oh no, Sophia, you've crossed the line. Hey, Cleo, where are you going? I'm going to find her. Danica! Danica, where are you? Please, tell me she's safe. Danica, is that you? Are you there? Yes! Please help me! My foot was injured because of the fall. What fall? You're hurt? Oh, story's too long. Just help me stand up. Yes, wait. Ah, oh, be careful. Thanks. Why did you cross the border? Look, it's none of your business, okay? Hey, look at me. I help you, look for you, and now it's none of my business? Yes. Now let's go back before it gets dark. Did you really follow Sophia's dare to you? You're so naive. Just mind your own business and leave me alone. Come here. Hop on my back. Let's find a shed. Okay. Chill. I can hear your heartbeat over here. I won't bite. Huh? Shut up and go over there under the big tree. Are you okay? Here, use my jacket. Thank you. Ah! Snake! Is it really your hobby to hug someone? Huh? Relax. It's just a bind. Um, thank you for looking for me. Sorry for my attitude towards you earlier. It's fine. Now tell me, why would you beg forgiveness from someone who does not want to be with you? I don't know. I don't want to lose my friend. We did nothing wrong. It's just a childish act for her to be like that. I... I just don't want to talk about it right now. Kuya Cleo! Danica, where are you? Leo, Danica! Cleo, Danica, where are you? We are here! We're here! Gladly nothing happened to the both of you, except for Danica's sprained ankle. Now, come on and let's go to the clinic. Miss Castillo will face the tension for the rest of the week. No, ma'am. This is not her fault. Sorry, Danica. We have no choice but to punish her, so she could learn from this. Hey, Danny. Can we talk? Sure. Sorry for everything. I understand everything now that Cleo won't like me back. I'm sorry for liking him. No, it's not your fault. I hope you two will find genuine love and happiness from each other. Thank you. Danny, we're ready to start the program. You better get going. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Okay, places everyone. Danica, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. On air in 3, mm. 2, 1. Good morning, humanistas. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I hope all of you receive all the love and joy you deserve. Today, we are going to read secret confessions from the students on our campus. Are you ready to hear it? Our first confession is from Leo. Hmm, Leo, do I know you? <laughs> well, here we go. Dear D, I know that it may sound cheesy, but I like you. I like you so much that I can't deny it to myself anymore. I like being around you because everything feels okay when I am with you. Like how clumsy you are to always lose your purse. I like how loving you are to your family and friends. I like everything about you, especially when you can do everything for the ones you love. I like you, Danica. And I don't think I can deny this to you and even to myself. Not anymore. Love, Leo. P.S. Call me as soon as you finish reading this. Hello? Hi, Danny. Where are you? Look, outside your window. Hey! I like you, Danica. Do you like me too? Yes. I like you so much, Cleo. Will you go on a date with me? Yes. I always thought that every relationship is always happy, but it is not. They all come to the point where fate will test their bond as a couple. 
and now my girlfriend and I suffer from it. I gave you a chance to live and study there in the Philippines because you begged me to allow you. You promised me that you will have a high grades, but you broke your promises. I received an email from your school about your academic performances. What happened to you, Cleo? I'm sorry, ma'am, but this is Danny. Cleo left his phone on the table. He's currently in the bathroom right now, ma'am. You! You're Cleo's girlfriend, right? Yes, ma'am. Because of you, Cleo chose to live there in the Philippines. He doesn't want to fulfill his responsibility as a successor of our company here in Canada. You are the very reason why he's acting like this. And now, his grades are all low because he uses all his time for you. This is all your fault. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to. No! You should break up with my son. You are a distraction. He doesn't need you. Hush. I... No. I am truly sorry, Mrs. Villanueva. I will talk to Cleo about this matter. Let me talk to him! Just leave my son alone! He doesn't... Hush! No. Mom, let's talk later. I'm outside. Mom. Yes. Mom. Bye. Why did you answer it? Am I not allowed to? Your mom is calling you. Should I just ignore it while you are not here? You could just decline it. Why are you mad about it? I should be the one who should have the attitude now. What? Your mom told me that you failed all your subjects. Why, Cleo? I was busy. Busy from what? We just met every weekend. So why did you fail it? I thought you did well in your school because you said so. Danny. No! Your mom said that it's all because of me. Maybe she's right. I'm taking up all your time. No, Danny. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. Let's break up. What? Let's end this. I don't like you to be like this. I don't want to be the reason why you are like this. Stop this. We're not breaking up. We'll fight for this relationship. But you failed because of me. It's my own action, not yours. So let me fix this. And we're not breaking up, Danny. I love you. I thought we won our fate in testing the strong bond of our relationship. But it didn't stop. It comes to an end. Our relationship comes to an end. We've come a long way, my dear. I never thought that we could last for seven years, Cleo. I love you. It's still you, my love. Nothing can break us apart. No one can break us apart. Hmm. Who's calling you? I don't know. It's from an unknown number. I'll just answer this. Okay, just make it fast. I'll prepare the cake. Okay. Who is this? This is Cleo's mother. I would like to talk to you about my son. Good evening, Mrs. Villanueva. What about Cleo? I will be straight to the point. I want you to break up with my son. I can't, Mrs. Villanueva. I love your son. You can't be with him. I will not allow it. He said that he can't leave you there in the Philippines. We need him here. I will ask him to go to Canada as soon as possible, ma'am. I already do that. And he keeps on declining because of you. I will try my best to... His father is sick. He had a heart attack months ago and is now recovering from it. The company needs a CEO. We need Cleo. I didn't know. You don't know anything. Don't keep Cleo to yourself. You should break up with him. He didn't even visit his father when he was hospitalized because you both are celebrating your birthday. If I just know of Mr. Villanueva's situation, I will not continue my birthday party, ma'am. Please, leave him. Danny, break up with him. Please, we need him. Please. I'm sorry, Mrs. Villanueva. Hey, babe, let's light the candle. Why are you crying? Your mom called. She did? What did you say? Your father had a heart attack last month. You didn't visit. Why? I was busy. Busy with my birthday party, right? It's your birthday. I should be present in it. Your father's life is at risk. Yet you didn't even visit them. 
I called mom that day when dad got hospitalized. I always asked about his condition when he was still in the hospital. That is not enough. You should meet them and ask your mom in person. You don't want to come with me to Canada, so I didn't visit them. So it's really my fault, huh? No, Danny, come on. It's not like that. Maybe your mom is right. All along, she was right. I was distraction and a burden to you. You are never a distraction nor a burden. Danica! Then why am I always the reason why you always fail? It is always me, the reason why you can fulfill your responsibility as a son. I choose not to do it. It's not your fault. Let's end this. No, Danny. This is not right. We can keep this relationship. We're celebrating our seventh anniversary, Danny. We've been together for seven years, yet you want to end like this? Ask yourself, Cleo. Your family needs you. Your father needs you. And here you are, in front of me, acting all happy but deep inside you are broke? But I am happy. Yes, you are. But is your family happy about this relationship? No, because I am keeping you away from them. No, Danny. Let's blow this candle up for the last time. Happy 7th anniversary, my love. Happy 7th anniversary, my love. Good morning, ma'am. What's your order? One cafe latte to go. What name should I put on the to go cup? It's Danny. Okay, please wait, ma'am. Ice Americana for Danny. I'm sorry, miss, but my order is cafe latte, not ice Americano. But a man ordered it, ma'am. Yours is still being made. Really? Oh, God. I'm really sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. Oh, and there's the one who ordered. Ice Americani for Danny, sir. Right. Thanks. Oh, it's been a while. How are you? C Cleo? Do you have time? Let's talk if it's okay with you. Yes, sure. What are you doing here? Why aren't you in Canada? Shouldn't you be taking care of your family business? I am. I just have a business proposal here. Business proposal? Yes, I thought it would take me a long time to see that person. But it didn't. I want to talk to you. I would like to know, do you have a new boyfriend? I never had one after we broke up. Is that so? That's good. Huh? I'll go straight to the point, Danica. I still love you. Not a day goes by that I don't think about you. I want to be with you until we grow old. Even though a lot has happened to us. Even though you broke up with me. You're the only one, Danica. No other woman can captivate me. Only you. I love you so much, Danny. Do you feel the same way? Do you still love me? To answer your questions, yes, I still do. I can't either. You're the only one I see for me. I love you, Cleo. Even though what I did was so heavy and still have to do it. Because I love you and I don't want to get it in the way of what you should be doing. I'm sorry. I love you so much, Cleo. Then, I have a proposal for you. Will you allow us to go back to our old relationship? I will always say yes. Because I love you. And there, that is how our love grew. Today is our 10th anniversary. And I don't want her to spend another day without her by my side. I don't want to spend another year without asking her this. I love her so much and up until now. That love grew up to be stronger and better. I don't want to waste more time because we don't know how long our lives will be. So I want to marry her. I want you to be with me forever. I love you and will you marry me? Danica L. O. Do you? Danica L. Ong, take Cleo Villanueva to be your lawfully wedded husband. Yes, Father, I do.